there, it's Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com here with one more brew with Dark Deal and Modern. This is the one that's been testing the best. I tried the whole storm combo and it just didn't seem to be working out as planned. I get stuck so many games with just a bunch of the ramp and nothing to really cast and then just completely miss. So this is going to be a version using four Waste Knots and four Liliana's Crest. Of course, our best friend Bernie Inquiry is going to be in here. But I found this Dream Salvage and after testing, this is pretty significant after a Dark Deal. Dark Deal usually gets at least one land and then if you draw into a Dream Salvage, so it's a way for you to recover back the, it's kind of like our treasure cruise and a free treasure cruise at that because we're usually getting some mana off of our, our third turn Dark Deal to be able to cast back the uh, Dream Salvage and probably one, one or two more cards depending on how many lands we get out of our opponent. So it also has great synergy with the Burning Inquiry as we, we draw at least three cards off a of Burning Inquiry and it, that will replace exactly what we we threw away because burning inquiry costs a card and then dream salvage will cost cards so we'll actually net up a card after the the burning inquiry dream salvage just to help us really just go through our deck to find the waste knots and the little caresses and whatnot so another little tech that i have in here is the burning vengeance burning vengeance has some synergy with both grave crawler and the Hakon Strom Stromgold Scourge. So these are cards that you can recur to get that last bit of damage in, or even like a first turn. We don't really have a decent first turn plan. So you can go first turn Gravecrawler and then apply some pressure. And then when our opponent does deal with the Gravecrawler, eventually we'll get it back with the Waste Knot tokens. Or just if we have a, a Hakon in the uh, graveyard, we can then cast the Gravecrawler as the Stromgold Scourge is a zombie. And then this guy we can cast any time from the graveyard. So if they bolt it or if it dies, then it's it's pretty easy to, to get back in. I'm thinking that we might need, yep, we do most likely need a one of Faithless Looting. Uh, one or two of Faithless Looting. So this needs to come here somewhere as this will help us loot towards what we need as well. And then we get very little drawbacks from Reforge the Soul if we do have to fade this looting if we eventually draw into the Reforge the Soul or just waste not giving us card advantage. So I'm going to have to stick one of these in here somewhere. I just don't quite know what to take out yet. Maybe it's just going to be a number of either Grave Crawlers or, or Hakon or even Lingering Souls we could go down and count because I think the 20 land count is stretching it. I kind of want to go up to maybe a 21 even though this deck does operate off three lands quite easily and yeah, so it's going to be, we are going to have to test exactly what cards need to go in. Um, but I am thinking that at least one of Faithless Looting is going to be necessary in here to guarantee that you get. Uh, but I mean, we do have Burning Quarries and Dark Deal, so so maybe not. Maybe that's just a way for us to get rid of them. I, I think the Faithless Looting does have quite a bit of synergy, though. So right now, I'm just going to take out possibly like one of Lingering Souls or one of Funeral Charm and put in a Faithless Looting. So Funeral Charm I like in here is my only discard card. We're not going to worry about like Thought Seizes. I might want them in the sideboard. Right now I have Lightning Bolts and Rakdos Charms in the sideboard. And the Amos Inversion has just amazing synergy with the Hakon as it is a Knight. And then you can just Machine Gun down everything they put out from then on out. But I might want to go down and count of these. And maybe even down one more count of... Yeah, we definitely want to go down and in the Stromgold Surge, but so Lingering Souls might not need to be a main board. I just like them because they're going to be free cards you can flash back from your graveyard. It has synergy with Burning Vengeance. I have one white source in here just in case I want to hard cast it. They usually will get in there for a bit of damage or chump block you a, a bit of damage, and that's exactly what you, you want with this deck. Um, because like a Liliana's Caress with the Burning Inquiry is going to be 6 damage. Waste Knot tokens usually get in there for a few damage here and there. Your opponent shocks themselves, and you need, just need that little bit of damage. I think Lingering Soul is a little more reliable than like a Lightning Bolt. So, Burning Vengeance again has some cool combos with Raven's Crime, as well as reanimating Grave Crawlers for 2 damage each. I'm going to test it out to see if it's worth it. I would like to see some sort of combo where yeah, I, I can just keep killing stuff. Like a combo I can see that comes in from the sideboard is you can nameless inversion your grave crawlers, kill them, and then cast them back. So it's three mana to do two damage start creature or player. Uh, that's actually very significant uh, damage a creature or player if you need to kill a creature. This this burning of vengeance does have the ability to do so. And again, it's great with Raven's Crime. Raven's Crime is going to allow you to make all of your lands that you have in excess ability to discard them. Um, I'm not sure with the with the dark deals if, if you actually want your opponents to discard the only discard you really want is the finisher when you've got them out of cards in their hand and then funeral charm 
we'll get rid of that last bit of cards. So again, our deck doesn't make them discard a lot though. It's it's Burning Inquiry replaces all their cards and Dark Deal nets them down one card. So we don't really have any way to make them discard. I might have to go some amount of either Blightning or Wrench Mind to get those last bit of cards out. I was also thinking of Delirium Skeens. Delirium Skeens is three mana. Each player discards three cards. And again, that has great synergy with Dream Salvage off of Waste Not. So third turn, you could Delirium Skeens. So I'm going to put one of those in the sideboard right now as well. And maybe we do want like a one of Delirium Skeens. Wrench Mine would be the other best one because it combos so good with, with Waste Not. So ugh. let's see why it's not fine. Let's Skeens or Skeens or something like that. Let's find this card here. There we go. So I think I, I do need... So even though it is three mana, Sorcerer Speed, each player discards three cards, and you're actually, quote-unquote, discarding four cards, it's something Reforged the Soul or Dream Salvage can come back from, as this will... Dream Salvage will be able to draw you three cards and, and whatnot. The cool thing about having Noxious Revival in here is it's got pretty good synergy with both... Um, waste not and like a faithless looting or, or burning inquiry so i'm gonna have to really really test this deck out but this is the these are the cards i'm thinking of i also thought a one of reforged or excuse me a one of past in flames in the board because past in flames would allow you to cast back the burning inquiries that go to the graveyard the dark deals that go in the graveyard but it is pretty hefty to do so um i can see it being able to easily be flashbacked after like a waste not finding if waste not finds two lands that adds four mana that's all you'll need is a a, a red source but i still think that's a little mana intensive in one turn to try to to um flashback the the pass in flame so this is this is again the list that i'm i'm looking at we're going to test it out see what cards work see what cards don't that's usually how deck building starts is you come up with an idea and then it fails miserably and then you have to find the exact pieces to adjust to the metagame and adjust to how your deck is is actually working not supposedly working so we'll have those dark deals i believe the pre-release is going to be on the 20th or the 30th no no 30th excuse me it is already the 20th so the 30th so we have we have a week before the pre-release on the mtgo and i'm going to be picking up those dark deals as soon as possible so i can chuck them in uh this deck and then start testing it out so anyway this has been kevin with roguedeckbuilder.com with a dark deal brew for modern in fate reforged Thanks for watching.